Well, this is IELTS speaking test taking place at United English World. Test date is 24th June 2021. Uh, examiner's name is Mahmoud Islam Shagor. Examiner's number is 53207. Examin uh, uh, candidate's name is Mohammad Mahmoudul Hassan Ayaj. Uh, uh, candidate's number is 253200. Hello, this is Mohammad Najur Islam Shagor. Uh, what's your full name, please? My full name is Mohammad Mahinul Haq. And what can I call you, please? You can call me Mahinul, sir. So, Mr. Mahinul, uh, in IELTS speaking part one, I am going to ask you some questions about yourself. First, I would like to ask you questions about fast food. What kinds of fast food have you tried? I'm a very fast food junkie. Mm -hmm. I usually have, I usually eat uh, burgers, pizza. Burgers are mostly I'm fond of. Okay. Do you ever use a microwave to cook food quickly? Oh no, I use microwave to usually heat my uh, food. Mm -hmm. For example, if they get much cold, to bring it to a temperature where I can eat, mm -hmm. I use my uh, microwave. Okay. How popular are fast food restaurants where you live? Okay. I live in uh, Muhammadpur, mm -hmm. and their fast food restaurants are very popular. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, it's I am, it's like uh, we usually go to fast food restaurants two three days in a week. Okay. Well, now I'm uh, moving to uh, Sama. Mm -hmm. Is Sama your favorite time of year? Yes, uh, I can say summer is the favorite season of the year. Why, why do you think so? Because in summertime, we can visit a lot of different places. Mm -hmm. And um, in, in my summer vacation, mm -hmm. um, during my academic work, mm -hmm. uh, I can also visit countries because mm -hmm. there is a gap mm -hmm. to visit a country. Okay. That's why. What do you do in summer when the weather is very hot? Oh, when the weather is very hot, uh, I usually plan trips with my friends uh, to a resort maybe because there are swimming pools mm -hmm. in which we can enjoy and chill ourselves. Okay. Did you enjoy summer holidays when you were at school? Oh, definitely, yes. Because uh, during my school days, in the summer vacation, we mm -hmm. used to go to our relative's place. Mm -hmm. We used to have different kinds of seasonal fruits like mm -hmm. mango, jackfruit, mm -hmm. this kind of. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, th that those were the very golden days of my life. Okay. Yes, this is the end of your IELTS speaking part one. Thank you very much. Now we are moving to IELTS speaking part two. All right. In this part, you will be given a cue card mm -hmm. with some clues. Mm -hmm. And uh, I will also give you a paper and a pencil. Uh, you will be given one minute to write down some information relating to the topic. All right, sir. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay, here is your topic. Okay. And here is the pen, paper and pencil for you. Okay. Wait, please. Yes, sir. So you are given one minute to write down the uh, information if you wish to. Your time begins now. Okay. Spare bit review a read about a product or service. Where did you read the review? What did the product or service was? What information the review gave about the product or service? Uh, and explain what did as a result of the video. Review of the product. Your time is up. Thank you, Jim. Yes, sir. Okay, now I would uh, like you to describe a review you read about a product or service, and you have to talk over the topic for two minutes. Do you understand? Yes, sir. And your time begins now, please. Okay. So uh, now I'm going to talk about a review of a product that I purchased. Right. So the product was a car amplifier mm -hmm. basically i uh, i read about that review to know about specific information about that product mm -hmm. see 
car amplifiers in Bangladesh is not a product which everyone usually buys or use it regularly. I bought it to uh, amplify my car music system. So in Bangladesh, it is not uh, very uh, easy to get. Mm -hmm. So I go. I went to us.com. It is a website mm -hmm. in which these kinds of car products are sell. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, there, I selected a specific item, and it mm -hmm. was called Kicker Car ca Amplifier. Okay. So there was a description and a review about that product. Mm -hmm. So I read all the facilities of using that product. Okay. And also, I got to know what are the benefits right. and disadvantages right. of using this product in my car. Mm -hmm. So, when I read about all this information, then I uh, go through uh, uh, other different also amplifiers. Mm -hmm. But uh, I thought uh, that this amplifier will be good for my car music mm -hmm. system. Mm -hmm. And then I uh, contact with that page. Mm -hmm. And I discussed a lot of things hmm. like what uh, specification are hmm. involved in my car right now and how can I um, how, how can I add this amplifier to my car right. and they provided me all the informations hmm. that I was looking for hmm. and then I purchased that uh, product hmm. it came from US to Bangladesh mm -hmm. by FedEx right. and then I installed it in my car hmm. so after installing it in my car I see that that review was very authentic right. because all the informations that they have provided me were actually right, right. and it helped me a lot to install this product because if I haven't choose this product or I would choose another product then it would have not a perfect match okay. for the current music system thank you thank you so much this is the end of your IELTS speaking part two okay well now I am going to uh, ask you some questions about IELTS speaking part three uh, relating to your cue cards okay First, I would like to ask you the questions about online reviews. Okay. What kinds of things do people write online reviews about in your country? Usually, people write reviews about uh, those kind of products which are not common. Mm -hmm. You see, there are multiple products, as I've mentioned in my uh, cue card, mm -hmm. that uh, car amplifier. Mm -hmm. It is not a product that is very common in my country. Mm -hmm as well as i think ac mm -hmm. ac is not also a common product because mm -hmm. it is an expensive mm -hmm. thing for which not everyone can afford it yeah. so people search for this kind of expensive mm -hmm. home appliances mm -hmm. or for electronic goodies mm -hmm. that they want to purchase but they have no idea mm -hmm. that's why they go for online reviews okay do you think that online reviews are good for both shoppers and companies definitely because by these online review See, usually who these uh, who provides this kind of online review? Mm -hmm. Mostly a consumer. Right. So a consumer when provides this kind of reviews, we get to know how much good the product actually is mm -hmm. in terms of using it, in terms mm -hmm. of how much uh, time period I will be able to use it. Mm -hmm. So these kind of reviews are very helpful for us. Okay. Okay. Let's talk about customer service. What do you think it might be like to work in a customer service job? Okay, uh, I think it will be helpful in terms of earning some money. Mm -hmm. Because in a customer service, there is a customer service work, there is nothing much of experience to gather. Mm -hmm. Usually there is a script which people read and provide the information mm -hmm. which they uh, took from their company. Mm -hmm. And I think a person only should uh, involve themselves in a customer service company if they are very need of money. Okay. Uh, so by this they can help their employment. Mm -hmm. okay. Do you agree that customers are more likely to complain nowadays? Uh, it varies actually. Right. It varies in terms of products. It varies in terms of in which company you are buying from. Mm -hmm. Like if, if, if as I use a a smartphone from a Samsung company mm -hmm. it is a reputed company mm -hmm. and they spend billions and billions of dollars to make their uh, product a uh, very good right so if you use a renowned company's product mm -hmm. usually there is nothing much to complain mm -hmm. but if you use a cheap company's cheap product it's very certain that this product will not 
will not uh, long last mm -hmm. so yeah okay how important is it for companies to take all customer complaints seriously can you repeat how important is it for companies to take all customer complaints seriously it is very important for a company to take their customers report or their complaints because it is it it will work from them to progress mm -hmm. or to know or to mm -hmm. identify right. their lackings right. what is in in their products mm -hmm. so when their uh, clients are giving them a company mm -hmm. is it all is it all it is also working as a survey mm -hmm. they are not they don't have to uh, spend money for a survey mm -hmm. by these kind of com uh, complaints they can understand that in which department they should work wonderful thank you so much and this is the end of your IELTS speaking test mr mahmoud and i wish you definitely the very best of luck thank you so much thank you sure